What's up guys, Shmediums here. So today I wanted to bring you a top five list of things to do before the Legion invasions end. And to start off that list, I'm gonna tell you a couple things. So a lot of the things on this list are not entirely collectibles, uh, not entirely for people who enjoy twinking, for example, or just enjoy PVP, uh, just doing things on alts and a couple other things. So if you're not that kind of person, I'd advise you not to watch this video because you might not be interested. But if you are that kind of person, stick around because I do have some news for you and maybe some cool stuff that you didn't know. So let's hop right into it. Number five on my list of things to do before these invasions end is level some alts. Like the amount of experience that these bosses from this scenario are giving right now is actually ridiculous. Like, uh, for example, say you go there on a level 10, all right? By the time the end of the four scenarios end on that invasion, you're gonna get four levels. Four levels in literally 10 minutes, maybe 15 at tops. That amount of experience is actually ridiculous. And the news only gets better, guys. So in the weeks to come, they're planning on increasing the amount of invasions that happen throughout Azeroth throughout the next couple weeks until Legion launches. So what that means is you're going to be able to level up a crap ton of alts. And I mean by a crap ton, I mean like you could probably level like 1 to 100 in maybe a couple days to be honest. It takes not too much time. Uh, you can just AFK the entire thing pretty much. You just sit in the area and collect the experience. I mean. What kind of leveling could you ask for? It's better than paying for a $60 boost, am I right? My number four on my list would go to gearing up what you plan on playing during the Legion expansion. So what I mean by that is if you're re-rolling a class, if you plan on playing a Demon Hunter for example, or if you just are new to the game in general, these Legion invasions they give you a total of 700 item level gear out of the boxes that drop and they do have a chance to be warforged and there's also some weapons that you can get that are upgradable through the coalesced fell forgive me on that i might not have said that right but it sounds right so the coalesced fell and i'm going to continue so before i mess that up again and the way you obtain that item is the same way that you obtain the 700 item level gear through doing the legion invasions and opening that last chest and hoping that you get that piece but if you don't get that piece for 250 nether shards which is the currency that you'll be earning throughout the invasions you can just buy the coalesced fell and you can start upgrading your weapons and the good thing about the weapons is they are bind on account so if you have a weapon for example a mace or a sword something that can be used on a different alt you can send that weapon in the mail to another character that can use that weapon now that brings me to number three on my list, twinking. So the amount of twink items that are in the game right now because of the Broken Shore event and the Legion invasions is actually pretty cool. Uh, so from what I've noticed at level 99, the gear is 670 item level. 670 item level at level 99 is a really high item level and because of the way that they've changed PVP for low levels and for high levels, uh, they base it off of your item level. And because the item level on these items is so high, uh, 670, for example, at 99 is the highest that you can get besides the crafted items, which there's a limit of three until the Legion comes out when they've removed that restriction. So right now, if you want to have some fun and it's free armor, you have a level 99 and you want to lock your experience, I do recommend that you get some of these items because they're going to be removed from the game, I'm pretty sure, from what I've heard. And from what I've seen in the past, they've removed a lot of cool items. So trust me, you want them, get them, make sure you have them, and check them out. Number two on my list brings me to the Invasion Quartermaster. And what the Invasion Quartermaster has to sell is absolutely great because he has four packages of transmog for you called ensembles. And what the ensembles do are say you buy one ensemble for 200 nether shards and you open it what it does is it adds a primary set to your transmog list say you buy the cloth ensemble for example it's going to add the entire cloth set from the invasions that you can earn from going out and doing the invasions from the boxes 
to your transmog wardrobe. No matter what class you're on, if you buy each one for 200 nether shards, or if you just go out and earn it out in the world where everything's happening, you're getting the transmog. So say you just want to play your rogue and you just want to do the invasions on your rogue and you're sticking on your rogue, but you know you want the transmog on the other gear, even though you don't want to play that class. If you buy each one, you're getting it and it's in your wardrobe and it's there forever. So basically you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to play the cloth class, you don't have to play the mail class, you don't have to play the plate class. You basically earn it and you did it all on your one primary character which is, for me example, would be my rogue which is leather. My number one was placed on this list due to the amount of history I have with my friends and family on this game. Don't forget to take some screenshots. It's always a good feeling when you're able to say, Man, I was there for this pre-launch event, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I can't lie to you guys, when I was younger, I never got a chance to take screenshots of the Wrath of the Lich King pre-launch event, and I still regret it to this day. With the countless hours I've spent on this game, and the ones a lot of you fellow players have spent like with me, I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I guess you could say, a picture is worth a thousand words in this case. So, don't forget to take some screenshots, and take a look at some of your old screenshots, for example. I mean, remember how good those times were and just try to remember all the good stuff about this game and look forward to Legion. Don't look back at Warlords of Draenor. I know a lot of us didn't really like Warlords of Draenor, but you know, this expansion is going to be good. So far, it's shipping up and shaping out to be very good expansion. So I'm not down in it at all. I have complete faith in Blizzard right now. And that'll be my top five list for you guys if you like the video don't be afraid to leave a comment on it tell me what you guys like or any other things that the invasions may have given that I might have missed feel free to comment that and if you could leave a like on this subscribe this video is from the heart I appreciate it it's your boy Schmediums peace out guys see you next time